today we are going to learn about how do ecosystem change environments slow changes versus fast changes go and refer to page 168 in your Pearson textbook our lesson objective today are to list the different causes of changes in environment the slow changes and fast changes and to compare and contrast between these two types of changes begin by the definition of environment environment is all conditions surrounding an organism let's begin with some environmental changes talk about the amount of sunlight the variation in temperature the presence of salt water or fresh water type of soil or rock the amount and kind of vegetation now Go to the page 168 and read it and find out in the slow changes paragraph in about uh, in ecosystems about the different causes of slow changes. Okay, let's um, make a review about these types of environmental changes. So we find that these slow changes occur very slowly. And they and takes mm, from month to years. First one, climate change. In a region may become drier and drier over and over thousands of years, as in Sahara or desert. Secondly, we should know about seasons that changes slowly every year. And we talk about continent movements and last um, about rocks that are slowly broken down by weather or wind or by water and also by plants and other animals. And these uh, rocks become part of the soil. Okay, so it may happen by weathering and erosion and deposition of sediments. Climate change. To better understand what climate change is, we should define the climate that is the combination of atmospheric conditions that occur in a place for a period of time. Over the past centuries, the climate everywhere around the earth has changed altering the usual conditions of a place so regarding the precipitation and temperature in this way we have water shortage and look we have water shortage we have desertification and the disappearance of lakes or even sea level rise. These ones are becoming more and more common in addition to the uh, of natural disasters like a lot of natural events are like droughts, floods or huge storms has increased and all of these situations are a consequence of a global warming meaning the increase in temperature happening on the planet okay today we know that continents are uh, rest on massive slabs on a rock called tectonic plates so all continents are moving. These plates are always moving and interacting in a process called plate tectonics. The continents are still moving today. This one is a kind of slow changes of environment. What about changing seasons? We have four seasons, 
that are changing every year and it may affect uh, animals and living things in winter by example these animals will grow thick fur and it could be used as camouflage and by example after a heavy rain springs may form and flow uh, and we uh, we have a flow of water this will make a new environment that is used by different animals now what about fast changes in ecosystems go to the page 168 and read this uh, paragraph and find out the fast changes in ecosystems okay let's make a review about these types of environmental changes and and fast changes that occur quickly and takes minutes to days examples of these fast changes are hurricanes and tornadoes floods um, we have heavy rains and huge waves and drought and earthquakes and volcanic eruptions and fires and landslides that suddenly downward slide of rocks Let's talk about some natural disasters that are, or natural events that are causing the change of ecosystem by matching pairs, okay? This one is a near pod activity, okay? It should be done in class. Look about forest fire and floods and drought. Cutting of trees is made by humans, not a natural disaster or natural event. Other disaster or natural events, and this one are fast changes in, in, in environment, by example, tornado. The second picture is about a volcanic uh, eruption. And here, because we do not have rain, we may have drought, or maybe we have earthquakes. Now, look, we have two examples of slow and fast changes this picture show us the volcano when it's erupted it can quickly destroy or bury many organism but it, it can also cover the soil with nutrients that other organism can use this one is a fast change of environment look at this picture it's about slow change very slowly these orange lichens and lichen are the combination of two organisms algae and fungi and these lichens uh, are growing on this rock and it's helping break down the rock 
to form a new soil.